Hello everyone, welcome to Swift Learn, India's most sincere learning destination for class 1 to 10. In Swift Learn, we have 100% live and interactive classes. Personalized attention will be given to each and every student where the maximum batch size is 6 students. A dedicated academic mentor will be allotted to track and work on your progress. We also cover syllabus as per your school examination schedule. And also we handle custom requests. A key feature is we provide you with a detailed progress report card on a monthly basis. Students can take Swift Learn Academic Test Series, a scholarship exam conducted every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Students can take unlimited practice tests. And all the practice tests are subjective as well as objective for your school examination. So students, those are new book of free trial class today. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update. I'm Shashank sir and today I'll be teaching you the second part of the topic symmetric. So yes, so objectives of the today's class will be we are going to study about rotational symmetric. Okay, so let's take this example or let's start this activity. Let's take an example of this wheel. Okay, so let's rotate this wheel at whatever angle you rotate it. Okay. So, at various angles, it will be look same, right? If we rotate it with respect to certain way, it will come to its original shape and position even if we rotate it. So, can you find symmetry in this? So, we can conclude that from this, the rotation of a wheel has a rotational symmetry. Yes. So, let's see how rotational symmetry works. So, if you have a shape, it looks exactly same and it did in its original position, then we say that the shape has got a rotational symmetry. For example, square has got rotational symmetry. It looks exactly same if we rotate the square four times in all full four turns. So, square, if rotated four times, it looks the same. Okay. So, let us rotate an object through half turn, okay. So, let us rotate this. So, the question here is symmetrical. Are they symmetrical? If we are rotating this, does it look symmetric? So, this is not same as the original figure. Even by rotating it with 180 degree angles, it is not symmetric, okay. So, uh, so let us rotate the square again, okay. When rotated by this half turn or 90 degrees, it looks like a diamond by the half turn. But on full turn, it looks symmetric. This is same as original figure. So, it is symmetric. Yes. Is it symmetric if we rotate it be a full turn? Yes. So, let's rotate this object heart by one fourth turn okay not this heart this is a windmill now if i rotate this by one fourth turn one fourth turn is nothing but 90 degrees i'm still getting the same object okay so it is symmetric and it has like if we rotate by every one fourth turn we will get the same symmetric let's turn some letters by half turn okay letters such as x o and h is same when it is turned by the half turn rotated by 180 degrees you still will get h you still will get o you still will get x what about the digits from 1 to 10 okay so one when rotated if you write it uh, vertical without any dash so one when rotated will give the same one when it is rotated by a half turn it still will be the one okay two no three no four no five six seven eight if you write a proper eight if you rotate it by 180 degrees Okay, or half turn, you still will get 8 and even the letter. Okay, what about the letter turn? If you rotate it, okay, by this half turn, it will become 0, 1. So, it is not symmetric. Yes. So, only the letter 1 and 8 are having 
rotational symmetry now find out which of the letters of the english alphabet look same turn when they are half turned okay so yes let us write all the alphabets first and let us check this rotational symmetric so a will look as b v no b also no c also no will look inverted c d also no e also no f no g no h we already have said it i i will also i also has a rotational symmetry no j what about k will look like inverted k no l will look like a seven m will look like a w n will look like something n what about n when rotated it will be look like n only yes so n is there let me confirm with m and will look w okay l m n o is there p is not there q is not there r is not there s will look like this and will look again like this so s is having rotational symmetry t will be inverted t u will become like a no v also no w will look like m x is there y is not there what about z it will look like n and again it will look like z so z is there so alphabets h i n o s x z will have a rotational symmetric yes did i count x yes i have counted x leaving x o h the remaining were this answer which of the following english word read same on the half a turn okay zoom will look like m w o o z okay so no now will look like mon this will s w i m s swims will look as swims when we turn it half s i s will look half noon will look same so this will look same when we turn them 180 degrees think of all two three and four digit number which look same on half a term very easy one 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 okay so anything associated with same numbers like one 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 okay eight eight triple eight four times eight will look same this are the answers z one zero i forgot about zero 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 also okay so zero one and eight are having a rotational symmetry yes so combinations of zeros and one also so this also will be having rotational symmetry draw what of the following shapes will look on one fourth turn and half turn yes now see this now based on one fourth term the rectangle will look like this and again on the half turn it will look like a rectangle back okay what about square square when rotated by 90 degree okay so this point will come here so it will look like a diamond and when rotated by half term it will again look like a square so this one see when rotated by 90 degrees how to solve this whatever the points are there okay shift them this will look like a hexagon like this and again rotated it will be the hexagon like this okay the triangle when rotated by 90 degrees okay so this part will look like this and again by 190 degrees more again it will be a triangle yes 
let's draw one third turn now so this is symmetric yes it is symmetric so rotating it along one third will again look symmetric now what about the figure it is also symmetric now it is not symmetric why it is not symmetric so check the difference so any difference you have spotted so far so yes some let us practice this question draw the shapes after one third turn and are they symmetric yes after one third turn i think so this figure will be symmetric and this figure won't be symmetric yes now let's draw this one sixth turn okay so divide this 360 by 6 660 36 so one six turns is 60 degree angle rotated by 60 degree angle again you will get the same thing so it is symmetric around one sixth of a turn now is it symmetric after one sixth turn let us check this okay so one sixth turn is nothing but 360 by 6 60 degree angle okay so this thing if the angle is 60 degree okay if it is the same six on the six six twos are 12 okay six threes are 18 six fours are 24 six fives are 30 And 6 is at 36. So, yes, it will be symmetric. So, I think so. See this. Let me draw straight lines of black ones. So, yes. Two points. Two points, two points, two points. One, two, three, four, five, and six. See, I have made six equal parts. So, yes. It is symmetric around one sixth of a turn. Yes. Now, how should this image be turned so that it gets symmetric figure? This figure should be turned by 90 degrees, which is one fourth of a turn to get symmetric. Next question. So, what about the letter w must be rotated we got m yes we discussed this so when w is rotated we got the letter m so that's all for today so what did we learn today we learned about the rotational symmetric we learned about one half turn one fourth turn one third turn one sixth turn yes so this is about symmetric so students those on you subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update also, don't forget to uh, like book a free trial class today. Log in to www.swiftlearn.com, book a free trial, free trial class. And yes, enjoy the free trial class. That's all for today.